Okay, so this is going to be a little more off the cuff than usual, but I could not not talk about this. It was too weird. So, I am very much in love with a channel called Down the Rabbit Hole. It is exactly my brand of absurd, interesting topics. The guy who runs the channel creates these amazing mini-documentaries about strange people from history. And he does significantly more research and production than I would ever do. And in his most recent episode, he talked about a man named Terry A. Davis, who created Temple OS. That is the word Temple and OS standing for Operating System. Terry was a programmer who developed schizophrenia, and he then believed that he was receiving prophecies from God. He created Temple OS as the third temple prophesized in the Old Testament, which would be the final temple on Earth. Terry created a random number generator, which then would go and fetch random words out of quotes and Bible passages, and basically create a ramble, a ramble, a random jumble of words that he would interpret as words from the actual God and that he was a prophet. He went crazy at some points, called himself the best programmer on earth, called himself a prophet, called the Pope fake, stuff like that. He was just a crazy old man with schizophrenia. The episode of the Down the Rabbit Hole episode about him is about two hours long, so I understand why you wouldn't want to go watch it, but I highly, highly recommend it. Anyway, there was one point in the video that caught my attention, and that it, it, I, I really, I really can't understand it. I, re I really cannot understand this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the clip for you now, and I'll see if you catch what's going on. The clip is long and has some bad language in it, so just a warning about that. Terry would sometimes perform extremely long streams. On April 16th, he streamed for well over 12 hours total, and he would often stream intermittently throughout the day, aided by the caffeine he received by drinking straight from a 2-liter bottle of Diet Shasta soda. However, his talks would grow less lucid over time. The CIA likes to, if, if I tell you that, that, uh, the Commodore 60, that God said the Commodore 64 is our ancestral land, the, the CIA giggles. Yeah, look at Native Americans giggle. Yeah, look at fucking Jewish kicking ass and shocking awe on their motherfuckers. This, if I tell you that, uh, if I tell you that Joseph in the Bible went from prison to prince, the, the little CIA nigger chuckles and says, yeah, look at all the niggers, they, they're not princes. Yeah, but Joseph was a fucking prince, and, and I'm fucking Joseph, I'm not a some nigger. Now you may think that what I am pointing out is that he drinks directly from two liter bottles of soda, just as Chris Chan does. But no, this is a red herring. You may also think that I am pointing out the fact that he uses the N-word liberally, just like Chris Chan, but no, this is a red herring. I am pointing out that he refers to the Commodore 64 as the promised land from God. Watch this again. If, if I tell you that, that, uh, the Commodore 60, that God said the Commodore 64 is our ancestral land, the, the CIA n giggles. In case you don't know, in my other videos I have talked about Chris Chan and he believes that there exists a parallel dimension in which all fictional characters exist. And there is this uh, ongoing, it's, it's a meme, there's a meme that the uh, video game consoles are all represented by a, uh, a character in this comic. So there's a, a Wii uh, character, there's an Xbox character, there's a PlayStation 2 character, etc. And so he believes that the Commodore 64 character is a, a deity, a god and that he is our universe's version of that god, and therefore he has powers, and he believes that he himself is a lower-level deity, and that he can communicate with this other dimension. And at one point, he actually ate part of his Sega Dreamcast for some reason. He believed that it helped him gain its powers. This is a thing that actually happened. So Chris believes that he is the god of the Commodore console. And this is something that, when he introduces himself, he says that, you know, he is Chris Chan, mayor of Quickville, god of the Commodore, console, leader of the Sonichus, stuff like that. And for this other guy, for Terry, 
who created Temple OS, who also believes that he's a prophet, to base his system on the Commodore 64, I think is just a crazy coincidence. Not just because two delusional people both pointed to the Commodore 64, but because these are two people that down the rabbit hole is covered. These are two people that I've now watched these mini documentaries on. And I, I just don't, I don't understand what the, what the connection is. Like, it, it's not like the Commodore 64 was a, a popular machine. Like, if they both said, oh, this is the, the, you know, the Xbox or the Super Nintendo, then I'd be like, yeah, that's something that exists in the public consciousness. Everyone knows exactly what that is. But for them both to specifically pick the Commodore 64 as the method with which they communicate with God separately because obviously these two people have never met one of them's dead and they're both delusional and schizophrenic i think it's just it's it's something i don't think it actually means anything i just think that the coincidence itself is interesting and so i wanted to make this short little rambly rant video because i found the connection and i wanted other people to know about it and it, it's it's just crazy and the world is weird chris chan is weird that's why i think that in some weird way, Chris Chan is the main character of Earth, because all the most interesting things happen to him. And, yeah, 